This is not a new a happy new year post. This is me pleading to the government to get a hold of JPS. You need to get a hold on JPS because I haven't been in Jamaica for one entire month. Nobody's at my house to use no light. I have the solar system, the battery system, and I also have the grid tire system that sells back light to JPS. Before I left Jamaica, I paid $79,000 for light bill. And now I get a next $78,000 for what? For what? Ooh. No, man, the government, you guys need to get a hold on JPS because this is bullshit. This is BS and all them are going to do, send people come to my yard, come check to see if something wrong and then them leave nothing done wrong on my yard. And then, there, me have to go pay the bill. Pshhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhh
you go hear say the next bill at 80, 70, close within that range. It is going to be hard for you to get it back down to the average. I am not saying that some people don't experience right bill or correct reading, but me just I say. It seems as if the JPS has some sorts of exploitist mentality. And if they feel that you are well off, such as Asafa is, such as some people in Jamaica is, and them figure more than likely Asafa is not going to drive one of his many cars and go to JPS, sit down and wait a couple of hours. He would be losing more money waiting to talk to some sorts of customer assistance representative than just make it slide. So more than likely, he would probably just pay it or he himself don't even know how much the bill is. Him just tell somebody, delegate to somebody, go and pay this bill for me on a monthly basis. People, me just say. The problem is that whenever you have a company that is a monopoly in a, any sorts of country and then the regulatory body seems as if they are in bed with them and the government seems as if they pretty much give them the green light to F-U-C-K the whole country. Then it's exactly what we're going to get. And it applies to rich and poor. Now the truth and the fact is that in Asafa's case, he more than likely can and will pay that bill in any way. What about the average person in a Jamaica that cannot afford to pay their bill? That is just struggling, living from hand to mouth day to day. How are they going to handle this? The thing is that if you don't pay, your light is going to be cut off. Then you have to pay for reconnection. It is more problem on top of the problem that you cannot solve by yourself. Point blank and period. Further on in the news, it is called a case of cousin and cousin make good soap gone wrong turns to R-A-P-E. Now people... Do not get it wrong. I do not endorse or facilitate any sorts of family thing I go on, any sorts of incest, them call it, especially R-A-P-E. However, in this very disturbing video that I saw a couple of days ago, I have not been on YouTube for a couple of days. It is said that two cousins hold on an R-A-P-E jump over the fence of an ex-female cousin. Now people, first thing first, how sick of an animal can you be to actually hold on your own cousin or a pre your own cousin for SEX? And like me say, it has been going on for a little while, cousin and cousin. It seems as if they don't have a problem with it. However, when it turns to R-A-P-E, especially in a fashion like we've seen on social media, wearing one man a try force himself inside the girl. The next one have him leg wrap round the girl head and she can't move and she a try for S-C-R-E-A-M. You have to ask the question, where is the family? Where is the mother? Where is the father? What type of brought up these people have for them actually think that it is okay? How did it ever get to the point in which a cousin or child hold on them own cousin? It does not matter if it was a stranger, me just a say. These youths must be about 15 or 16 or 14 or whatever them ages. And I think that the little pit is about the same. So therefore them they are the same age bracket. However, what type of mentality, what type of animals, what type of beast? Are these people in a Jamaica raised up where somebody could actually videotape an incident like this and send it out on social media? That means that there must have been at least three or four people involved. Like me say, wanna try insert, wanna hold on, and wanna videotape, and this girl is pretty much begging for her life and her dignity. Based on conversations that I've had with persons that are victim of RAPE. They are telling you that they would rather to D.I.E. than experience it. As a matter of fact, some people even take them life. I may mean, talk about big woman. Can you imagine the type of stuff that a little picnic goes through whenever she is held on by a stranger or even a family member? 
people. These youths do not deserve to be on this earth. These youths should pretty much be placed in front of some sorts of tall up and taken out. May I talk about straight in the cranium. These people have zero rehabilitation. If your life has gotten to that point, you should not or deserve to live. Me not care what type of family them have or how the family are big. If you had brought up your child in a decent way, they would not be acting like that. But like them say, picnic live what they learn. So maybe they live in a some sorts of dysfunctional home where the mother and the father display certain sorts of behavior. So therefore, they are just duplicating or replicating it. People, it is a sad state of affair in a Jamaica. Point blank and period. <laughs> Further on in the news, it is called stunting for the gram, stunting for the views, cloud chasing on social media. However, in this case, it goes horribly wrong. I am speaking about a video that has been making its round on social media. That is the edited version that you saw at the start. Based on the information, it is said that a motorbike collided with a vehicle a 2001 Nissan Caravan that was driven by a man. Based on information, it is said that this youth, Rashan Miller, he decided that he wanted to do some sorts of stunt, meaning wheelie, papa wheelie, or boss a wheelie. His friend was videotaping him from behind. Now, people, I am not even going to lie. Based on what I saw in this video, it looked more intentional. It looked as if Mr. Miller had some sorts of D-E-A-T-H wish. He was frustrated with life. Maybe he had some sorts of girl problem or maybe he was actually legally blind or maybe he had his helmet turned backwards like I said. Because you could see while the other person was videotaping that he tried to lift up the bike. When he lift up the bike, there was a vehicle coming in the opposite direction. And he just rode out casually right in front of that vehicle. That vehicle was going at an excessive amount of speed. And people, whenever two purses hit up head-on collision, usually the person on the bike is going to be the person that gets the S-H-I-T-T-Y end of the stick. Such is the case as it pertains to Mr. Russian or Russian. People... I am not sure what is going on in a Jamaica. It seems as if something at the water or something at the air or something at the food. But these youths seems as if they are on some sorts of mission. And none of the missions that they are on seems sensible or like they want to live. So in other words, the stunts that they are trying to pull off is not very good for success. Does not have a very high success rate. So therefore, it seems as if they want to do the opposite of trying to live. People, me not know if them frustrated or them just mad or the devil is on some sorts of campaign in a Jamaica. But a whole bunch of things are happening that makes absolutely no sorts of sense. It devises any sorts of rational point blank and period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like this, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. Bless up.